there's a big debate in the field. The field is generally cleaved into two general approaches. One is that one takes important aspects of language to be given to us before we're born. So they're unlearned and they're specific to language. That's the universal grammar hypothesis perspective. And, and the idea was very reasonable when it was proposed. Basically, people looked at the complexity of language and realized that it was so complicated, and yet somehow two and three-year-olds managed to almost master it, and adults have so much trouble. How could that be? It, and children generally aren't corrected for mistakes that they make, not, not overtly anyway. Um, so, you know, you don't tell, if a child says, me loves you, mommy, they don't generally get corrected, they generally get a hug. Um, so, so it was this big mystery, and Chomsky and others' um, conclusion was that, therefore, language couldn't be learned completely. Large parts of it had to be innate or unlearned. Um, the other view that I think is gaining momentum is the view that, in fact, language is learned on the basis of what kids hear, um, together with their domain general processes, so their categorization skills, their working memory skills, um, their symbolization skills, and their social cognition. Um, and this view has really um, gained strength on the basis of, one, the fact that now we have a much better understanding of what the input to kids looks like. So 60 years ago, no one had large corpora, but now we can see that the input to kids is actually very repetitive and mostly grammatical and full of short utterances. And also, we have a better idea of complex ways that kids um, can learn. So there's a new understanding of statistical learning and taking into account the probabilities in a language where that wasn't well understood. Um, but given the powerful learning mechanisms that we know kids make use of and the type of input that kids actually get, it looks more and more like the majority, if not all, of language can be learned. I would say grammar is your learned um, knowledge of pairings with form of formal patterns with semantics or discourse properties. So that is the pairings of form with function. So you have those um, in words, right, which are part of grammar, the building blocks of grammar. Um, you know, clearly there's a formal aspect and then there's also a meaning aspect. But also in, in uh, phrasal patterns, you also have um, some kind of formal uh, generalization and some function. So, you know, you don't learn the formal patterns unless there's a function that goes along with it.